I call to order the October Homewood Board of Zoning Adjustments meeting. Next item on the agenda is roll call. Okay. Mr. Gear. Here. Mr. Roberts. Here. Miss Hand. Here. Mr. Perkle. Mr. Alsabrook. Here. Mr. Hortley. And Mr. Foley. Here. Next item on the agenda are the meeting minutes approval for August 4th. Uh, the uh, September meeting minutes are not available yet, but uh, we will be uh, voting to approve the minutes from August. Has everybody had a chance to uh, review those? Any, okay. any comments? All right. Uh, Make the motion to approve the August minutes. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Looks like the ayes have it. Next up are communications or reports from the chair and vice chair. Uh, vice chair, do you have anything to report? I do not. All right. I do not have anything to report. So we can get on to old business. Like we have uh, none, so we've got new cases. Uh, first case is BZA case SV 2210-01-1520 Beckham Drive. If you're here to present the case, please step forward and state your name and address for the record. We also have a sign in sheet at the podium if you fill that out as well, please. Dan Campagno, 1520 Beckham Drive. I'm requesting a variance to build a deck in my backyard. We have a corner lot, and that, that's a hardship. And there's a six-foot privacy fence around the whole backyard, so it is screened. Any questions? Oh, and the pool and the deck is gone. It's demolished, in case you're wondering. This is a public hearing. If you're here to speak on the case, please step forward and state your name and address for the record. Does not appear that anybody is here to speak on your case, so I will open up uh, this case to the board for questions. Here, I think you said in... Uh... In, in case summary, this is an issue, a side yard issue that hopefully will be addressed when we revise our meeting events uh, coming up in August. Yes. Great. Um, I move to approve BZA case SV 22-10-01. Second. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Alsabrook. Yes. Ms. Hand. Yes. Mr. Gear. Yes. Mr. Roberts. Yes. And Mr. Foley. Yes. Uh, your case has been approved. You have 180 days to pull your permit. Great. Thank you. Who takes the signs down? You do. Thank you. Great. You do. <laughs> have a good evening. Next item on the agenda is BZA case SV 22-10-02-201 Morris Boulevard. If you're here to present your case, please step forward and state your name and address for the record and also fill out uh, the sign-in sheet at the podium. Uh, my name is William Siegel. I'm with Twin Construction. I live at 1707 Shades Park Drive in Homewood, and I'm representing Miss Merkel, who couldn't be here tonight. Uh, she's requesting a, I guess, a secondary front variance 
in a right side variant. She has a corner lot and is uh, requesting to add a master suite on the back right of that. She'd also like to uh, add about two feet to what is her kitchen area on the left side. Uh, the current structure is existing non-conforming. We're requesting to go straight back on the uh, with the addition. This is a public case. If you're here to speak uh, on the matter, please step forward and state your name and address for the record. It does not appear that anyone is here to do so. So I will open up the case to the board for questions. Yeah, and I just looked at that. It's actually not the kitchen. It's to create a, a room large enough for a dining area. But yes, it's that's correct. I'll move to uh, approve uh, case SB 22 10 32. Second. All right. Mr. Alsobrook. Yes. Ms. Hand. Yes. Mr. Gear. <clears throat> Mr. Roberts. Yes. And Mr. Foley. Yes. Your case has been approved. You have 180 days to pull your permit. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is BZA case SV 22-10-03-227 Oglesby Avenue. If you're here to present the case, please step forward and state your name and address for the record. Uh, also fill out the information on the podium uh, sheet as well. Ramey Harrell, 227 Oglesby Avenue. Uh, I'm requesting a variance to put a roof on the existing back porch um, it's a corner lot that kind of angles towards the back. And so I need about four feet towards the back left corner of the porch for the roof to go on there. This is a public hearing. If you're here to speak to the case, please step forward and state your name and address for the record. It does not appear that anyone is here, so I will open speak on the case, so I will open up the case to the board for questions. Looking at this photo, we have a photo of the current condition of the back porch. I can't tell, is this the beginning of a roof or the existing pergola? It's the beginning of a roof. Okay. Um, Construction uh, started without a permit. Um, they had moved here from another city where it wasn't a requirement since there was already a deck there. They didn't realize that. And enforcement stopped him and he came in and to get his permit and spoke with me. And of course, I was the bearer of bad news. And so that's what has happened. So he had, he had started to build it, but it will be a a solid roof, not not a pergola. Looks like we have a couple of neighbors who are in favor of the project. That, that's correct.
I'll move to approve case SB-22-10-03. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Alsobrook. Yes. Ms. Hand. No. Mr. Gear. Yes. Mr. Roberts. Yes. And Mr. Foley. Yes. Your case has been approved. You have 180 days to pull your permit. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is BZA case SV 22-10-04316 East Glenwood Drive. If you're here to present the case, please step forward and state your name and address for the record. I'll remind you that there is a form to fill out um, your name and address as well. My name is Warren Stewart and I live at 316 East Glenwood Drive in Homewood. And I am requesting, uh, I guess, two things. One, to add on to a non-conforming house that was built prior to the current setback requirements and to uh, build the house within the 10-foot setback at 9.6 feet from the north property line. And the desire to do that is to extend the existing plane of the north exterior wall just straight back to maintain architectural continuity on, on the house. To the left would be the north wall. This is a public hearing. If you're here to speak on the case, please step forward and state your name and address for the record does not appear that anyone is here to take me up on that offer, so I will open up the case uh, to the board for questions. Hmm. Looks like at least on the right side here, request of variance. You're pretty much building over what's been compared to actually. We're actually building a structure that's farther away from the property line than the current structure. Um, would estimate four feet farther from our neighbor's house. Yeah, that's okay. Now, I did not provide those ahead of time. Would anybody like to see those? Or would you like you to bring these to you? Thanks, my knowledge. I provided everything they required.
while they're looking at those, I'll mention um, a stormwater ordinance revision that was recently passed, okay. just for your knowledge, that says if you increase um, the impervious area of your site by any amount, then you have to um, have a non-adverse effects letter from a registered engineer. Okay. So, so you'll need to. I think that will actually decrease the impervious area. In that case, that'd be great. We're, we're extend, extending the current bridge, you know, same same height that it is now. Yep. If somebody wants this, I can read it as well. Okay. Um, I move to approve BZA case SV 22-10-04. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Alsabrook. Yes. Ms. Hand. Yes. Mr. Gear. Yes. Mr. Roberts. Yes. And Mr. Foley. Yes, your case has been approved. You have 180 days to pull your permit. Thank you. all Next item on the agenda is BZA case SV 22-10-05190 Vulcan Road. If you're here to present the case, please step forward and state your name and address for the record. Good evening, my name is Chris Eckrode. I'm with Capron Engineering, 200 Office Park Drive, Suite 215, Birmingham. I'm representing uh, Mr. Hussein Mawani, who is the owner of the property. And we're here to request a variance for three items. Um, the first one being a parking variance request. Um, the second is a request to forego the um, requirement for interior parking landscape island, uh, islands. And the third is to allow vehicular sales within the 20 foot building setback line. Uh, the existing site uh, was formerly an office building and had a, and currently has 106 spaces on it. The square footage of the building is a little over 79,000 square feet, 79,693. And um, according to the uh, uh, current zoning to park that we'd need approximately 160 spaces already. So for the entire building, the site's already under parked currently as it sits today. Um, Mr. Mawani is uh, deals in um, used luxury car sales and only intends to actually occupy a little over 40,000. It, it's 40,225 square feet of the overall building and then the remaining uh, square footage would remain vacant and there's no plans to develop it at this time. So the parking requirement for that, if we looked at it, was only with the 81. So the parking variance really is to request that we just live with the parking lot as is for what uh, we intend to use it for, which is vehicular sales. Now, Mr. Mawani uh, has represented to us that he's going to have 40 to 50 cars for sale on the lot at any 
given time, which would leave the difference available for other parking. I mean, he could, I guess, conceivably have a few more parks out there, but uh, he is intending to reserve some of these parking spaces for employees and for, for um, uh, uh, customers. The landscape islands uh, were requesting to be, uh, the, the request in the variance there is because to include the landscape islands, we're not opposed to planting the trees. We're requesting to forego the islands to further reduce the parking count out there. We don't wanna do that if we can, but we will take those trees that would have been part, uh, planted within the landscape islands and put them elsewhere on the site. We're not opposed to planting the trees. This is all just trying to get to use the parking lot as it sits today for the building as it is today with the improvements on it. The third one, of course, is for the vehicular sales within the 20 foot building setback line. Um, the parking lot currently extends uh, to within the bu uh, building setback line. We do understand that there's a desire to have automobile sales behind it, but um, I think we encroach, you know, we're, we're well within that. And again, Mr. Mawani is just, his, his goal is to try to use the parking lot as it sits today and, and provide as much parking to, you know, get as close as we, can to meet the ordinance, but not unnecessarily um, reduce it. Um, that's the basis of the, all three requests. Um, happy to answer any questions at this time. And the architect is uh, back there as well in case there's um, any, uh, um, uh, uh, the word escapes me at the moment, the, um, his operations, uh, if there's any operational questions too, he can uh, help me address those. This is a public hearing. If you're here to speak on the case, please step forward and state your name and address for the record. Looks like no one is here to do so, so I will open up the case to the board for questions. May I? Yes. So some, this isn't a question. This is, I guess, a confirmation, um, and I think you guys can work it out. So recent developments have included a tree and landscape ordinance revision from the city council a couple of weeks ago, which says that um, if you are only renovating 50% uh, of the total square footage of the floor area, then you are exempt or less than you are exempt from the tree and landscape ordinance. And you're mighty close. You're from 79, 693, and you're saying that the owner has plans for 40,000, So I would assume that you're renovating for 40,225. That's right. So That's you're right. so you're just a few hundred square feet over the limit. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you're un, if you're under 50%, then then one of the variance requests goes away. So it would either be now or later though. I mean, if you obviously you're asking for this variance in the landscape But um Later, we, we should choose to renovate the other half of the Well, th that would be, we're, we're only requesting for this. We yeah. realize that's a separate case altogether. So, you would get another bite at the apple, or to, you know, d clearly, oh, we'd have to bring it before you again if he yeah. wanted to revise it. Again. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. You know, the whole concept, the whole thing may change by it. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> that's right. He He's, represented the square footage that we're doing. The architect heard you, what you said. Uh, so that might be something, but for right now, we're, okay. we're gonna stick with this. Yeah. We're gonna stick with this variance request because that's what we brought before the yeah, board. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I think, you know, uh, he heard you. Yeah, he heard you. And sorry to spring that on you right now, but I just realized the square footages were right at 50% okay. well, 10 I, minutes ago. So. We're, we're here now. <laughs> um, how, how many cars um, for sale will be on the lot at any given time? He's told us between 40 and 50. Well, what, um, what was like your thought process in choosing this location? It doesn't really seem the greatest. I, I'm, I'm not the owner. Uh, I, I was brought the project. He had already bought the site. Uh, he's Did not he buy the site with the intention of doing that, or he just bought the site and then decided. No, I, I understood that there were conversations prior to him making the purchase, and oh. he had conversations with, with I don't know who, 
but he had conversations. Um, I can't personally confirm that. I've just yeah. been told that. Um, so, but his intention has always been to do vehicular sales. That's his business. Got it. So if I'm understanding correctly, there's 160 spots you need. For according the, to the, the zoning, yeah. if we, uh, yeah, if, if according to the zoning, we're supposed to do two per thousand over this entire square footage of the current building, which would put us at 160. Currently, there's, there's only 106 out there. Yeah. And, you know, that's the essence of the variance right there is that yeah. it's already that that's that is the variance. If you re, we were going by just what we're intending to use, though, it would only be 81. But I don't know that that's really material because the the well, variance is really to go from 160 to 106. I guess I just think it's strange that you need 160. There's only 106, and then you're using 40, 50 spots for sale. So you really only have what like we're trying to 50 available. No, we're trying to live within the code because to do these renovations, we have to bring everything up to code, and uh, we're not going to get 160 spots on this property we only have 106 so that's the variance oh i understand that i'm just yeah. saying like do you understand like you're already taking 50 spots for the sales so whatever's left over you know you're already short like 40 spots and then you're going to take 50 more spots you know what i'm saying no i'm, well, no, I'm, I'm not following it, it, you. no um those spots are still there yeah they're parked just like any other i'm i get what you're saying yeah, you're, so you're reducing the number of parking spaces with your stock to sell yeah. but not the the places are is still going to count i'm trying to i'm trying to figure out how to explain this but um the the biggest problem is that he's having to park an 80,000 square foot building when he's going to be using 40,000 square feet. Yeah. And, um, and the demand really is there. So I, I think thinking about it reasonably, auto sales. Right. I mean, if you, stuff. if the, if they to. have four, yeah, if they have um, 50 cars on display and, and the other, what, we, the other 56 are filled with customers. That's a good day. Yeah. I, I, I think he'd be ecstatic if he had 50 customers <laughs> and cars there because it's probably, you know, what, 50% more people. So if you had yeah. 50 customers, this might be actually 75 people in a lot. I bet they'd be busy that day. Yeah, that would be a big day. Um, so I, I just don't. Yeah. And um, a lot of a lot of other cities allow for the um to reduce the number of parking spaces by eliminating or not counting the square footage of, of non-public areas, um, private offices, storage areas, and things like that. And our code didn't allow for that. So he has to park, you know, the, the storage room. But, you know, he's got to park everything. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's right. We have to, it, it, our burden is to bring it up to code. And I guess, what really the essence of it is, is that code says I got a part 160, but there's only 106 on site as it is today. And there's the variance right there is we have to it, request that variance to get it in the code again, I guess, officially. Short of shrinking the building. Right. Well, yeah. yeah. And, and right. I guess that's what we're saying is that we're only intending to use 40,000 right. at this point. So really, you know, if we looked at only, if this was a 40,000 square foot building, we'd be over parked and we wouldn't even be here. But Code says we have to park the entire building, even though we're only intending to use 40 some odd thousand of it. Uh, it at this moment, if he comes back in the future, that's or a, even a, if he a, were gonna that's a use, discussion in the future. But even if you were going to use the whole building, there are still yeah. non public areas mm -hmm. that most cities would deduct, yeah, you know, would remove from the, that square footage. Yeah. But we don't, yeah. well, it's a true statement, and so it's an existing non conforming, yes. Property. I, I, I don't know the answer to that question. It is, it is, well, it, it is currently non-conforming. Um, but it may not have been at the time of development. Yeah. 
it, it's not a new building. I I, I wouldn't call it ancient. I mean, it, no, what it's, it was no. built in what the sixties. Yeah. Yeah. So that puts it in the sixties yeah. yeah. when it was built. So at the time, it was probably. And it was I don't a, know what the zoning code was in. Sir. It's Sears catalog showroom. Okay. Hmm. For your wish book. Yeah. 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 Did we answer your question or no? Okay, sorry. I'm... Are there any improvements to the exterior of the building? Just out of curiosity. I'm Dave Branch, I'm with the Fifth Dimension Architecture. Um, Matt, I couldn't hear your question. Are there, are there planned improvements to the exterior of the building? Uh, yes. So basically the rock veneer that's on the front, we're basically removing that and putting a metal wall panel in replace of the rock veneer. Um, basically cosmetically just painting it and giving it a facelift. Um, speaking about the vacant space in the building, uh, there's a probably a five to eight year gap that'll happen. They just found this building and had a good deal on it. It met his needs and he wanted to move there. It's just way more building than he'll ever probably use. So, yeah. thank you. All right. Well, what sort of signage do you envision to um, let people know that they're there? I, he's going to have signage on the front, on the on the actual building itself, like his logo and stuff. Current, where, currently where he's at over on uh, 4th Avenue South, it's basically a marquee that's on his building so it, it's not but what we're intending to do is when you look at the office front where the front door is those metal panels they'll have this this thing there it's more most of his clients are online or it's word of mouth and okay. they come there okay. so it's not a you'll see it driving obviously from the interstate but you have to have a reason to go see him so, mm -hmm. I'll get you to sign that sign issue, please. Thanks. Any other questions? I'm going to be voting to approve SB 22 10 Okay. Yeah. All right. Mr. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Gear. Yes. Miss Hand. Yes. Mr. Alsabrook. Yes. And Mr. Foley. Yes. Uh, your case has been approved. You have 180 days to pull your permit. All right. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Last but not least is BZA case SV 22 10 06 320 Oxmoor Road. If you're here to present the case. Please step forward and state your name and address for the record. David Hopper, 3505 Ashley Road. So what we're looking to do is for open the Ace Hardware at 320 Oxmoor. We're looking to build an awning off the side of the building along Columbiana uh, to give us a, a place to have dry or to keep good to dry. And also mm -hmm. we're requesting not at this moment, but we're requesting a fence as well to go in conjunction with it. So we'll have a, a safe place to store store goods on the side of the building. The, the awning will stop about where the beginning of the sharp carpet sign used to be. Extend out to like the gutter of the, the curb there. Mm -hmm. that, 
I drew that. Oh, okay. That, that skip that, Brian. <laughs> okay. That's wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, I drew that for the fence. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. It is a public hearing. You're here to speak on the case. Um, please step forward and state your name and address, but there is no <laughs> one left in the audience. So I will turn the case over to the board for questions. How do y'all envision the loading and unloading process to that area where the awning is? So at the moment, you know, I've requested to get really early trucks just because of the how busy Maya is for lunch. So I've spoken with our our warehouse down in Lot C, Hayes Warehouse, and and I've kind of reserved like first stop. So they'll just pull kind of in either in front of the building or off to the in some of the just take up some of the parking spaces in the uh, along the building. And we'll unload that way just there, there'll be less traffic in the parking lot so we'll be able to to stage things going in that way so not they won't be backing up no no sir in the morning hour. were you contemplating having um the delivery trucks um Back up under the awning? No, uh, okay. that wasn't my plan. Okay. That, that would block the entrance off of Columbiana. Yeah, that was, that was kind so, of, that's what I've seen. In we the, didn't want to do that. It's, it, we just had our parking lot resurfaced, so it's, it's been a little bit to do, but yeah. I'm glad that's that's done. It's striped and it's very good. Yeah, just, I, I saw it in the, in the hardship. Description it says we create a purpose which created dry area that lower delivery trucks. So I, I guess you're still having so essentially, you know, there's a there's a bus stop back there, there's a lot of foot traffic, and so you know, if, if we get a truck in and it's a large truck and things have to be staged outside, then like it's pretty easy to open it, a tote that our, our merchandise comes in and you know, take a drill or whatever. So that's that's essentially our hardship there is to uh. To be able to have a secure area, so this would be the you know, if you get the fence going, this would be the like the top part of, of the fence, and also provide you know somewhere to store concrete, so it doesn't have to be on the on the front with an awning up there that can stay dry. What what type of fence? Is it, I believe the zoning ordinance would require any outdoor storage to, to be concealed visibly. it would be uh it would have like a a mesh fence or i meant to get a picture of, of what we're planning to do but on monday we'll have one for the, the variance it'll be a chain link with a screen exactly yeah like a Black breeze through kind of, kind of screen. I'm sorry, I'm hard to hear. It, oh. It's going to be a chain link fence and what? It'll it'll have like a, a black mesh. Black mesh. Okay. Screen like a screen essentially. Okay. Okay. Will that be opaque? Will you not be able to to see? It'll be a, a fine screen, so. It'll block out. If you want to work in it, yes, exactly. That's the the goal. And you know, we haven't obviously we haven't pulled any permits or anything. So that's you know, if you guys suggest something that that would be less less see through, we could do that too. Is 
That's some of the things you're just to go out there. Are you gonna be selling merchandise from out there? No, that's not not the intention. Just somewhere, you know, if someone wants some concrete or something, it'd be something we could load on a cart and take it to their car or truck or something like that. But that's not gonna be like a loading zone or anything like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> but do these things have to be stored outside, or can they be stored inside? I, I don't really know. But like the quick creek, it, it just gets be. messy. It's it's very messy. Um, but it it could be. It could be. Gotcha. Oh, there's going to be fertilizer. <laughs> yeah, there's. You know, like bag goods of, of manure and things like that that would be ideal to be outside for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm not familiar with the entire operation of the other buildings. Where is your normal garbage pickup? You know, how does how does so we've actually have a, a a fence plan for our dumpster pad that's it's um it, how's that in relation to this storage area? Where is it located? There's there's a good photo. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the, the fence with oh, the box, I see it now. I see it. That's gonna be the and okay. it's not currently fenced in the the dumpster pad, but it, it will be. Uh, I see it. Okay. Thank you. I think there's there's also some concern you know, provided this fence would have to be opaque to meet the, the ordinance to conceal stored goods outdoors people turning out onto Columbiana looking left. Um, we're creating you know, a, more of a blind spot. I mean, not um, there does appear to be some line of sight, but I, I think we're getting into a, an area where we're cutting it close or, or making yeah. that condition worse. Um, that, uh, how does this engineering review yeah, that? So we, we did look at that. Um, and so it would be helpful. And I guess you already did your striping for the parking lot today. Yeah, or it was yesterday. Yesterday. But so if you could bring, um, like define the way you leave the site out onto Columbiana Road um, sure. closest to the, go back up, Brian, to the, yeah, right there, closest to the existing curb. Over so instead of putting a putting a stripe in the in the middle between the curb cut, you would move it over as far as you could to the right, and okay. that would help tremendously. Yeah, people people leaving, so they wouldn't Not you know they wouldn't pull up in the into middle. The, yeah, that's right. Okay, does that make sense? It does. So like a stripe and then maybe like a turn arrow, or no. Well, yeah, but I mean, that would certainly yeah, help but, the proper. But, but, yeah, but, but yeah. something else, and the details of which I'll be working out, but if right. you would agree to do it, mm -hmm. then I think yeah. that would be enough to. Yeah. Forgive me for not knowing off the top of my head, but the opacity or the definition of opaque for this storage area, is that defined in the zoning ordinance or is this? You can't see through it. We, we, that, we don't want um, outdoor storage to be visible from adjacent properties or from the street. So just we want to, it doesn't have to be, it could be, chain link fence as long as the mesh or whatever they the slats whatever they put in there provides the opacity that the code requires no it's not fun in there <laughs> 
I mean, it's a, it's, it's a well, yeah, but uh, yeah, you know. Oh, right. Can't think of that. That's what I said. Yeah. Did I? Mm -hmm. well, it's mm -hmm. So the, the hearing for the fence is like Monday, right? Is that, is that the hearing for the fence is there's going to be the, the Monday? Yeah. So they asked him on Monday night to bring a sample of what fence that's, that's they right. you intended to put up. Okay. I think we were unclear for tonight or for for the Monday. Yeah, Monday right. Monday night is fence, but they have to they have to look at all that stuff. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I apologize for that. And I should have that staff that as far as the blocking vision we kind of turned it out and drive it for me there. I mean I've seen the, the mirrors. Uh, <laughs> is that something for DMV? Is that you know where you, could, you as you're turning out you look to the mirror to a right showing uh up the street to the left. Yeah, 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 no, it's it's yeah. And who would like would we we put that out? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, our traffic engineering department would put it out, but we wouldn't be able to do it since across the street is Birmingham. No, I looked at that. I mean, there's no, well, I mean, I guess you could, but the visibility from the right doesn't matter. Like you can see from the right to turn left. You just got to be able to see from the right, from the left. I think I said that backwards, but so then instead of across the street as you're coming out of the parking lot, like can you can we pan to the left of the street? So the, the, the curve we can't see it if you're coming out of the parking lot, mm -hmm. the curve to the right, would there be a place that you put a mirror possibly right there? Like can you just a thought to at least make the effort. Brian, can you drive in the direction that you're looking? Yeah, I can't. Nobody has their mic on. I can't hear them. If they'll uh, turn their mic on and they can, I can go where they tell me. I think we want to go a little south. Just that. that, turn, that, that, turn that, that around. Sorry. There you go. There we go. There, yeah. Perfect. Wait, wait. There you go. So, yeah, right, right there. Where there's. And, I don't know if that's where you would station one normally, but I just think for the safety standards, if, if you can't see through the opaque fence, where how far you put your truck bumper out. Isn't isn't the blind spot coming out of the parking lot and making a left? Like like there's enough that would be open right here for you to make a right without being it's on the fence. I mean we're not siding the fence, but the fence is gonna be inside the the island. The yeah. island there. Yeah, I mean, it right now kind of it's kind of behind us. It's behind, it's where that pole is behind the pole. Yeah. So, so there's all that, that that's pole. that's yeah. It's really turning left out of the parking lot for us. You're the most fun. Right. Exiting the parking lot. Yeah. You just, just have to creep out now slowly. <laughs> Because ideally, right, like the the mirror, the dome mirror would have to be across the street. You running it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I mean, if we were like doing a dome mirror, it would have to be across the street for it to help with your blind spot, right? A mirror? Yeah, yeah. that's correct. Right. And that just belongs to somebody else. Yeah, and I'm not sure. I think we're trying to stay away from mirrors. Yeah. They're just yeah. confusing and. People don't know. <laughs> they don't know the. <laughs> we don't know what we look like. Yeah. But that makes sense what you're saying about like if the striping, there was more space. And the, and if you were yeah, exiting and you were forced to go towards the right, you would have a lot more. Right. Um, oh, views. Reason, right. Sorry, what was the question? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Right, like if you're all the way to the right turning left, it, it is a lot easier than if the stripe was in the middle. That's right. And that's the point I was trying to make earlier. Yeah. 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 
based on the location of the of those utility poles in that grassy area? Yeah. Approximately how far down do you think that the, 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 star. the canopy will, yeah, the whole, all of that will be? Will the fence come all the way down or is it just going to fence in the storage, the storage area? It's right where that sign is, right? Where you said char carpet, because you still yeah, need space. It'll for start the there and it'll kind of go at a diagonal. There's, I can see like a, a small stake about where the cursor is. And that's, okay. that's where it would begin. So it's pretty far. And then that way. the dumpster is the concrete pad right there. here. Yeah. So then how will you screen the dumpster? He has that in his drawings, like a little wall. It's, it's going to be. The dumpster is like on the other side of those utility things. Right in the screen. He has a little wall drawing. Yeah, well, yeah they'll just be like box. The, the, door. the box will just be a fence around the dumpster with the swimming yeah. door. Oh, this is the dumpster yeah. in the open air. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So you're just you're not going to yeah. yeah okay and it, it's all the way up against the building yeah. Yeah. The, the according yeah. yeah according to the drawing he submitted the, the fence and the canopy start like right next to that bollard of the the meters and the panels on the wall yeah. that helps for reference. Like, right. okay. yeah, no, no. Uh, we vote to approve the SV 22 10 I second that. All right. All right. Mr. Roberts. Yes. Mr. Gear. Yes. Ms. Hand. Yes. Mr. Osserbrook. Yes. And Mr. Foley. Yes. Your case has been approved. You have 180 days to pull your permit. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. That concludes the October meeting um, for the Homewood Board of Zoning Adjustments.